Now to a WDSU investigates exclusive to homeless people arrested for living inside an abandoned city owned building. The old house of detention, the notorious jail in the city is the property in question, and you may be shocked to see what was found inside. It's a story you'll see only on WDSU tonight. Acting on a tip, WDSU investigates discovered the doors to the old house of detention adjacent to NOPD headquarters were open for anyone to walk through. A set of handcuffs holding them shut, completely cut. The tip we received, homeless people were living inside the old jail. We contacted the sheriff's office and within hours, a tactical team was on site. Assault weapons drawn, deputies ready with zip ties, wearing bulletproof vest and tactical gear. Once inside the old jail, they allegedly encountered two people. Both were arrested and charged with trespassing. Drug paraphernalia was also reportedly found inside. And that's not all. We are right in front of the house of detention and the sheriff's office, as well as the tactical officers out here, tell us that the homeless people living in this old jail were pirating power, stealing it from another building, running a power cord through that cracked hole in that second story window. Traffic and municipal court is being renovated on one side and NOPD headquarters is on the other. Contractors at the scene tell WDSU investigates they believe the power was coming from the NOPD side. While OPSO went in and made the arrest, the sheriff hasn't had control of this site for almost a decade. It's property of the city. A spokesperson for Mayor LaToya Cantrell tells WDSU investigates. The Department of Property Management presumes that the facility had been secured by the sheriff. DPM will resecure, but security likely will be an ongoing issue until the building is finally demolished. The city's Capital Projects Administration will open bids on a safe and secure project for the House of Detention tomorrow. Currently, the city does not have future plans for the building. And after this incident, the property is now properly secured. All right, and take a look at this. The House of Detention was closed back in 2012. In 2013, videos surfaced of inmates using drugs, waving a gun that you see right there, and then even escaping and going back to the jail repeatedly night after night. The video led to changes inside the sheriff's office, and a new jail was finally opened in 2015.